welcome to my channel. Today we're looking at a John Doe found in 2022, August 20th, Washington, Utah, age 25 to 35. 5 foot 5 to 5 foot 11. A mummified skeletonized remains found at the base of a mountain, Red Rock Hillside, in Washington City, Utah. Clothing and shoes were still on the body. So, size large pants, possibly white. Hoodie with PPG Pittsburgh Paints logo on the front, size extra large. White athletic shoes, size 11. So then I did a NamUs case search to see um, who could it be, and the only person that comes up is Stephen Dalcoacher. I don't know how to pronounce his name, so forgive me. Um, he's date of last contact 2009. That was a long time before. St. George, Utah. He did actually, he worked in St. George, Utah, they said. But he also lived, which is Washington County, I believe, and he also lived in Washington County. So I don't know if he lived in St. George or if he just lived in Washington County. But his vehicle had been found in Henderson, Nevada. But he is 34 years old, 5 foot 10. 30 years old, 5 foot 10. It fits. And the date of death and the area and everything. It was the only person that came up that seemed to fit that description. Blonde hair, blue eyes. There might have been a couple of others, but they might have been so far away that I didn't want to include them. Just like when I went to do a search for him on NamUs to see which unidentified person came up, the only person that came up was this guy in Oklahoma who does look similar, but I just can't see somebody driving all the way to Oklahoma, right? And then when I expand my search and try to add other people, there was the John Doe that was 35 to 45, which would make him five years older than Stephen, who was also found in Washington County, Utah, found in 2014. And there was a heavy rain, and the skeletal remains washed up. And I don't know if it was near Virgin, Utah. I don't know if somebody was buried in a shallow grave or was laying out somewhere. And it says estimated one to five years, which may, would make it easily 2009 when he went missing. The right height and everything like that. And like I said, he did live in Washington County. And this one was near Virgin, Utah, which is ironic because he was a Mormon. Remember that church of, um, well, LDS church. And I do believe that they remain a virgin until they get married. So I thought, well, if somebody had taken his body and killed him, they might have put him there just because of the something in their subconscious or something. But this person was found in Washington, Utah, and he's the only person that came up. And then this person was also found in Washington County, Utah. And... The PPG, the Pittsburgh, the the paint shirt, though, also as well um, with the hoodie. I wondered if he had been going to the different places, traveling around that day, maybe to collect rent, or maybe he had been considering painting or something. I don't know if he if the houses need to get fixed up before somebody moved in. If they had moved out, maybe they were checking. I'm not sure what he was doing there. So, and then let's, and then I added some to the searches, and I have this man who was found in Millard County in 2011, um, a very remote part of Millard County. The height is 66 to 71 inches. A black ski cap, golden beers written on it, black hoodie, club athlete brand, black sweatshirt. I don't know what the age is for this one. Oh, it's over here too. 40 to 60, and he was only 30 years old. So it doesn't really fit because of his age. But there is that one, and this one is in Nevada. In Clark County, where his vehicle was found, five foot six to six foot one. 
they found skeletal remains um, in 2011, which was only two years after he died, or went missing, a year and a half, a year and a half after he went missing, but I will assume that he died. So, that's an hour and a half, I mean a year and a half after he went missing. And it's in the same county. But And I know they think that his his remains will be found in Nevada. And if they were, I would think maybe that would be him. But I don't think they're going to find his remains in Nevada. I think it would be one of these two in Utah. That's my thoughts. I just feel like even if somebody killed him in Utah, that for some reason his remains are going to be found. And, I mean, if somebody killed him in Nevada, I don't know if I worded it that way, I just feel like his remains are going to be found in Utah, and I feel like they're going to be right there, maybe in that same county he lived in. But I don't know. They could have checked that already, and it's just my thoughts, you know, personal opinion. It doesn't really mean much. <laughs> it, it's just, you know, what I was thinking. It doesn't, you know, it, you think something, it... it it doesn't mean that it's going to happen, right? It's like, it's just in my thoughts. Anyway, don't forget to pray for this John Doe, that they don't know who it is. And I wonder if it's him. I don't know. But, and I also wonder if this one, not this one, this one's him. But, anyway, I believe this is the last John Doe recently in Utah. So I think it's the last one on my list in Utah. So don't forget to pray for this John Doe whose loved ones don't have closure. And all the other John Doe's who loved one, whose loved ones don't have closure. As well as his family who doesn't have closure. And his case haunts me. I just feel like he lived a life of servitude and humility. And it's just tragic that he was only 30 years old. Anyway, feel free to leave comments and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.